Yeah, hi, I'm Ryan Gist. I'm the senior combustion engineer here at BioLite. I work in the research department on home stove. The home stove is a clean burning wood stove that generates electricity from the heat of the fire. Here I'm standing in front of what we affectionately call the museum. It's several generations of the product from simple proof of concept all the way to a fully developed product. Okay, let's go take a look inside the shop in the lab. In this lab, mechanical engineers work with electrical engineers and combustion engineers to develop our stoves and other products. We do burn tests every day and go through a lot of wood, so I'll show you where we split the wood. So we use two types of wood in the lab. This is kiln-dried red oak for when we need really repeatable good test results, and this is white oak that we split ourselves for doing user testing and durability. So now you've seen how we make the fuel for the stoves, I want to show you another test fixture where we test the fans inside the stoves. The fan is really the heart of our home stove and camp stove products, and it's important because it's doing two jobs at once. The fan's providing oxygen to the fire to make it burn clean and efficiently, but it's also cooling the thermoelectric generator, which allows us to make power. So this fixture here, our flow bench, which we affectionately call the wind tunnel, might look like just a mass of tubes and wires, but it's a really effective way for us to find optimum operating points for our fans. We've got modular inserts for our wind tunnel that allows us to test every different aspect of the geometry of the fan, different motors, and different operating points in terms of power, flow, and pressure. So we can use our analytical tools and test fixtures like our wind tunnel to determine the optimal operating points for our fans and motors, and then we build that all together in a complete system and go test it under the burn hood. This is the combustion research area of our lab. We've got two burn hoods, and this is Venkatesh, our senior combustion engineer, in the middle of a test now. He's burning a prototype of the home stove unit, and the emissions from the stove are going up into our hood and being collected through these two analyzers. We're analyzing the gas emissions from the stove and also the particulate smoke. We measure the particulate smoke with a really cool method using a laser. By shooting a laser into the sample, we can see the scatter back off of the particulate smoke that's in the stream. Traditional stoves in Sub-Saharan Africa and India where people are cooking today release a lot of smoke. And with the air injection and the improved combustion efficiency inside home stove, we can eliminate 90% of that smoke. So Venkatesh is measuring the emissions from the stove, but he's also trying to optimize the output of the electricity generating portion. The temperatures inside the stove are very important, so we measure temperatures in a bunch of different places along with pressure, power input to the fan, and power output from the thermoelectric generator. So it's a really tough balancing act. Um, the fan's doing double duty, providing the air to the fire and also cooling the thermoelectric generator. And you can imagine we can put more power into the fan to generate more electricity, but we've taken more electricity to do that. And at the same time, we have to balance the amount of air and oxygen that the fire needs. And it's that balancing act that we work so hard on doing here in the lab. So we talked about the usability of the stove and the performance of the stove, which are really important. But if it doesn't last, it's not going to be a great product. This fixture in particular is testing for the long-term durability of the stove. So you can imagine when the stove is burned, the temperature goes up and then comes back down. And that cycling can be really damaging to the components. This fixture here runs 24 seven, all day long, cycling through that temperature, up and down, up and down, and also running the electronics components through their power envelope. So even running 24 hours a day, this rig can only do so much. We've decided to scale up and get ourselves some more capacity to run more modules at higher temperature and for longer hours. We'll go next door and go see what Andrew's doing. This is Andrew. He's working on a bigger, better version of the durability tester we looked at next door. We can test four times as many power packs and actually control the ambient temperature so we get a much more representative test. We've been testing home stove inside homes in Indian Africa for a couple of years now. And with all the great feedback from the field, along with the hard work that's going on in the lab, we're ready to really scale up and continue to fulfill our mission of bringing energy everywhere.